Get on me old booties. How's it going guys? Today we've got a transcription of a song called Socks by Dominic Fike. This was a request by a load of people after I did a song of his called um, She Wants My Money. I'll leave that down below. So let's jump straight in and check it out. Starts off with this little melody. It's basically on like an E minor chord, right? With this D in there, so like E minor seven kind of thing. So we're gonna pick E and we're gonna pick D here. Okay, and then we're gonna play the third string open. Then we're going to go to this chord, which is kind of like a D7, but it doesn't play the D, it actually plays the A and the F sharp. So we've got this. So if you're right hand, you can figure pick it, I guess, if you wanted to. Or you could hybrid pick it, so I'm using a plectrum and I'm just using one of my other fingers, like so. Get this rhythm. So actually, this isn't a rest here. That should be let. That should ring. So three, four, and then so from here, then it's going to go all the way up to this C major triad. This is just like an F chord, cowboy chord F, but slid up to here to fret eight with our index finger, eight, eight, nine, ten. So, same kind of rhythm as we played on the D chord. Do, da, di, da. Boom, ba, bi, ba. Okay, so we've gone E minor, D7, C, back to G. So from the, from the C, and you can hear some sliding going on when he plays these parts, like this. That kind of... So he holds that chord down and drops off. Okay, let's check out the next section. So that's the first couple of chords. Then he does this. This chord, there's an E in the bass at this point, it's really low on the sub, but it's basically like a, the notes from a C major chord, but it's played from the E, so you can kind of think of it as being a first inversion of an E of a C major chord, C with an E in the bass. So we've got seven, then I'm just going to bar across fret five with my index finger like this. Okay. Next chord. Harmonically, it's kind of the same notes as a B minor chord, but we're playing from the third again. So it's kind of like a B minor first inversion, or you can think of B minor with a D in the bass. So again, I just keep my index finger flat, and then I arch. In this case, I'm using my third finger. You could use your middle finger, like this. I think it's just easier just to keep the same two fingers, right? Index finger barred. Just roll it back. Like so. And from here, we're going to jump up. This is that G, that triad again. So F major cowboy chord shape. Got on fret three, or index on three. And slide up. And hit the C. So we've got the C and the G chords again, but this time they're reversed, right? So in the first sequence of chords, we play C first and then G. In this section, we play G first and then C. Let's check this bit out. Sorry. Okay, so if we put the two parts together, we get this. Then, this one. That's it, that's the first section. So that's basically like your, um, what we call the A section. So on the intro, it just plays straight through, it plays uh, the first two bars, the second two bars, and then it plays the next section that I'm about to teach you. So let's check this bit out. So this next section, we're going to start on a B major chord, like so, okay? And now the rhythm we've got is this same rhythm that goes through the chords, which is this, but if my pulse is three, four, sorry, my pulse is one, two, it's ba, 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 
ba, ba. So let's describe that. So our pulse is three, four. So it's one e and a. Okay, one e and a. Then the next one is going to be on two and one e and a two and one e and a two and one e and a two and. As far as we're strumming, sorry, just drop a plectrum. We'll be strumming. Um, we're strumming sixteenth notes. It'll be down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, so we got down, up, down on this B chord. Then we're going to go to C. It's basically the same shape, but just upper fret. Upper fret. Then we've got this little A minor triad. Okay, so this is from this chord shape. So we're just going to play like this. We're going to use our third middle and pinky. And on the third strum, one, two, three, I'm going to pop this C natural on top. Okay. I jump up to this chord, which is just a B minor. Okay, so we're going to go B, C, A minor, catch this top note, and then the final chord we just strum once, the B minor. Okay, let's put all the parts together, shall we? So, song will start like this on the E minor, D7. Up to C, G. This is like a C C major. The actual bass is playing E minor. Drop back. G major. Up to C. B major. C major. E minor. Sorry, A minor. B minor. Cool. So pretty simple song. That's all the parts. Structure wise. Basically, this is, we'll call this section A. If we play this section. And then the next part as well. That's section A, okay? So in the intro, the first part of the song, it plays A, and then it plays B, this section. Just plays straight through, so A, B. Then it goes, then the lyrics come in. And then it plays basically two A's and then a B two A's and then a B. So you get this section. Once, and then you get it again, back. So it repeats that section. And then it'll go into the B section. So it's basically A, A, B, A, A, B. Cool guys, I hope you enjoyed that nice, um, fairly straightforward, simple transcription of Socks by Dominic Fike. If you've got any more suggestions for cool little tunes, especially ones that aren't easily available on Ultimate Guitar or, you know, transcriptions on YouTube already, then put some suggestions down below. I'll see you later, me old booties.